if you think about the idea of uh, like movies, right? So when movies come out, if they always have uh, maybe it's a two-hour movie, but the trailer is maybe like two minutes, right? So the trailer is kind of a precursor to what the movie is going to be. So kind of the idea is you want to create a trailer version of your main content piece. Welcome to the Ed O'Keefe Show. Transform your mind, accelerate your business, energize your body, and inspire the world. Now here is your host, Ed O'Keefe. In this episode of the podcast, you're going to hear a segment of a presentation done by Tommy Powers. Let's give it up for Tommy Powers. I had a question on YouTube. Let me see. Am I good? Can y'all hear me? Good? Cool, man. So uh, before I get started, uh, Ed said something earlier, man, that was important about how uh, uh, people have unique things, right, that make them passionate. So, Obviously, people know me about YouTube, but you know, just I've been doing this traffic stuff full time eight years, and I ain't gonna get into all my story. We can talk about that later. But, but uh, one of the things that I love the most is the number, the data. I like looking at data and evaluating data to find patterns and things like that. So a lot of what I'm gonna show you guys is really more about on the tactical side of how to set up the traffic and those type of things, but. My real unique talent is, and it's not something that's easily transferable um, because I have a, so I was in the NASA Space Grant Program when I was in high school. Uh, and the re how I got into that was that whole, uh, they call it spatial intelligence. I have this ability to uh, see patterns and things, you know, so. Anyway, uh, Ed said that earlier and it struck a chord with me uh, when he said that. So I just wanted to share that real quick. But basically, um, I'm just gonna get right into it. I mean, you know, and then we'll be able to, at the end, we'll be able to have some questions, Q and A, and discuss some of this stuff. But this is like I always like to show the interesting fact about YouTube. Uh, this is an older um, report, but uh, it basically say ad, video ad sellout on YouTube is likely 14 percent, and now that number is not much higher. I would probably go to say maybe you know over 20 now, but I mean, what that's saying is, you know, basically, you know, 70% or more of the inventory is not even being, being bought, which is pretty crazy when you think about the fact that YouTube is technically, they get more traffic than, than Google, I mean, uh, Facebook, in terms of unique users. They get over a billion unique users per month. So the amount of traffic on there is insane, which I'll kind of show you guys. Uh, video consumption is on the rise. I mean... YouTube gets more views than TV. When I saw that, it blew my mind. I was just, because I didn't, it, it, you know, when you think about TV and then you think, you, yeah, it's just like, wow, like, really, like, wow. And it, had made, it made me think. So I'm like, that, it was just mind-boggling to actually see that now. Like, we're in the middle of that, like, right now. So video consumption is only going to grow as broadband internet, broadband internet uh, gets more adopted. Uh, video will be even more consumed <coughs> because a lot of people throughout the world are not able to use video because of the you know the file size is a lot larger in order for it to play and everything. So as broadband goes, so will YouTube uh, video consumption. Uh, the volume is crazy. I mean, you know, this is an example of Garcinia Cambogia. If you wanted to target those keywords, uh, just those keywords. You can get anywhere from 39,000 to 129,000 views, that's per day, okay, at nine cents cost per view. Pretty insane. Uh, penny stocks, another example, 54,000 to 170,000 views per day at six cents per view. I mean, the volume is insane. And these are just penny stock related keywords here. Uh, same thing with computer backup, online backup, that kind of thing. 53,000 to 160,000 views per day at six cents. So, I mean, the volume is ridiculous. So, um, those, that's just a little stuff, you know, kind of just some housekeeping stuff I wanted to share with you guys. I really want to get into some more tactical things, some more uh, information that you guys can actually take away and use. So, um, I got a couple different things that we use. Um, I'll share. The first one is the in-stream ad to landing page. So. When I say in-stream ads, what I'm talking about is if you ever be on YouTube, you're about to watch a video and a little skip ad button, right? 
those are called in stream because they play in the stream of other videos. So that's why it's called an in stream ad. Uh, there's also pre rolls, people call it. Uh, YouTube, uh, Google actually calls them True View, um, which, you know, uh, all the same thing, but that's what I'm talking about when I talk about in stream. These are the ones that play before the videos. And then you can actually send them to a landing page. Now, in order to make this work, you got to be compliant. You got to follow all the Google compliant rules for being able to run on Google because you have to give them your destination URL, which is your landing page. But what you can do with that is you can do lead magnets, lead gen, content. Uh, you can have a vid video VSL page. Uh, you can do podcast type stuff, surveys. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can actually leverage it. Uh, but it's, you know, it's still, it's a one-to-one -one scenario, really, of uh, really what we like to do is drive, you know, get in front of these people and get them to our website as quickly as possible. That's really what this model is about. It's not even about keeping them into the YouTube ecosystem, which I'll talk about some of that stuff in a minute, but I want to get them off of YouTube as quickly as humanly possible, and that's basically, you know, what this model is. Then you got in-stream add to another YouTube video. You can actually use that strategy as well. So if you have a video that you really want people to see that can drive subscriptions or, you know, uh, leads or sales or whatever the goal is for that video, you can actually run one of these kind of like a, if you think about the idea of uh, like movies, right? So when movies come out, if they always have, uh, maybe it's a two hour movie, but the trailer is maybe like two minutes, right? So the trailer is kind of a precursor to what the movie is going to be. So kind of the idea is you want to create a trailer version of your main content piece because you're not going to, uh, somebody asked me that, I think it was Rob asked me about, you know, putting an hour video like right there. And I'm like, no, because it's interruption marketing. You're interrupting them. They're about to go, like we were talking about, they're about to go watch cat videos and your video comes up. They're not going to sit there and, you know what I mean, you're interrupting them. So you want to get their attention as quickly as possible and move them to an action. So um, that's another way to do it is you can capture their attention and then move them to, okay, here's how you can get more of this. That's kind of the idea of it. Um, so here's a, here's a great example of how to get in front of laser targeted prospects. Now, this is a system that I teach where really, I don't really care what you're doing. Uh, you can make this model work. Now, everything that I'm going to show you guys may not work for everybody, but this can work for everybody in here. So basically, what, what, what it is, is if you go to YouTube, and this, this is a perfect example you know, how to lose belly fat, I think is the keyword. Basically, if you plug that keyword in, all of these videos that are pointing the arrows at, now, here's the reality. Every video isn't monetized, but if, you, if these are monetized videos, you can actually put your ads in front of them by using something called placement targeting. So what happens is you plug your keyword in, uh, you hover over it. You can see one hovered over at the bottom down here. There's a YouTube forward slash watch V equals blah, 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 right? Um, then you basically you can right click on it and you can copy that link and now you can actually plug that URL that specific video URL into a campaign under placement targeting and say I only want you to show my ads in front of this video right and so the idea is to just find as many of those as possible and um, it works extremely well uh, I think I got one more slide in here so so, and this, this here is the YouTube suggests, just kind of showing you guys, so how to lose belly fat. So I could then go and I can do this for every other suggested URL and get those videos and get in front of them. Okay, that makes sense? So the idea then is with suggest, suggested <laughs> keywords, they're suggesting them because people are actually searching these keywords. That's, that's why it's important to use like the suggest keywords because those are the ones people are actually searching for. So you can actually do that and people are searching and you're getting in front of traffic that people are actively looking for a solution because they were searching, they go to watch a video and boom, your ad pops up. And you can be real, you know, very, very laser targeted. So uh, that's basically the idea of that model. Here's a couple 
Uh, well, this is one example of a tool. It's called Keyword2.io. And basically, it will pull YouTube suggests. If you go to Keyword2.io, you click on the YouTube link, and you plug your keyword in, and it'll actually go automatically pull these, uh, UR, these uh, suggested keywords for you. So you don't have to manually do it. You can actually, and they have a thing where you can upgrade or whatever um, as well, but you can actually get, uh, you know, a lot of keywords, you know, free using this tool. Like it, you, can, you can actually click copy all and it'll put it into a little text file. And then you can take all of those keywords and then you can go and get all of those videos. And we can talk about how you can actually automate that as well. But the idea of it is you're getting in front of laser targeted traffic, people who are looking for a specific you know, result or solution or what have you, and you're getting in front of them. As soon as they watch that video, boom, your ad pops up. Pretty slick, it's, it's a really good method. Um, you won't spend five grand a day doing that. It's really difficult to like really scale it. But I mean, um, it's a great way to get started. I mean, even if you got a small test budget, you know, 10, 20, 50 bucks a day or whatever, it's a great way to like get results like really, really quickly. Typically, if you don't make, if this model doesn't work for you, like in short order, then you probably something wrong with your landing page or your video or something like that. But you're getting in front of the right prospects, and that's what I like about it the most. Um, hey, Tommy, can I interrupt? Yes. So I mean, like that's a great example of like when you're looking at testing lean, testing smart. Mm -hmm. When I hear him say, "If this doesn't work, da 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 da, -da it's something on your end." So that's what we do first, and we go hardcore focus on that one thing. If that's not going to work, no, nothing else is relevant. So just want to say that. Yo, yo, so can yo. you tell me? I, can you can you talk a little bit more about the targeted prospect part? So if you have a very clear vision of who your ideal <coughs> customer is, can you expand a little bit more on that targeted prospect piece? So I mean, you know, it's all keyword uh, for, for this specifically. It's all keyword based because people who are searching YouTube. So you guys probably know this, but YouTube is the second largest search engine behind Google, right? So people are searching on YouTube. There's no tool that will tell you how many searches a keyword get or whatnot. Like they had something like that and then they took it away. I don't know if they're ever gonna introduce that. So there's no way to really know how much searching is being done, but People are on YouTube looking for solutions. So can I ask you a question about that? Do you find that they're looking for, is it a more, a, so sometimes we love Facebook, right? Right. But there can be as much virality searching as there is business prospecting. Absolutely. Right so have you been able to notice a marked difference? Does YouTube act in some cases like more like LinkedIn and there are real targeted searches in business prospecting going on? I mean, it really depends on your market, but you know, people are, whatever market you're in, yep. what I'll say is there are people on YouTube searching for whatever it is in your market. Fresh so, fresh say that again, Fresh Key? On YouTube. There you go, Fresh Key. I need to make <laughs> sure I write that down, I need that. But um, yeah, that's, that's cool. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's all based on what market, you know, obviously every market is different. Some markets gonna lend themselves more to that viral stuff or whatnot, but I mean, you know, how to lose belly fat is pretty, pretty straightforward in terms of what they're trying to accomplish, right? So, yeah, yeah. so um, that's basically where you wanna start. You wanna start with what are people, what solutions, what problems do I, right? You probably solve problems in your business. So what problem do you solve? And then how would someone be looking to solve that problem? And now you take that keyword and you can actually go to YouTube and put it in and see what videos come up. You can plug it into the suggest tool and see what other related keywords people are doing. And then you can even use Google's keyword tool to come up with other ideas of what types of keywords people may be using and then plug them into YouTube and kind of see what's going on as well. So, um, but maybe what he's talking about Fresh Key, that sounds, sounds pretty cool. So I haven't used Fresh Key, but I, I, I used to use Google, uh, YouTube's keyword tool and what you could do is you could plug a keyword in and then it'll pull back like all of these other related keywords that are not exactly what you put in but it's very related to what people would be searching so and then they took that away so I don't you know it's kind of like a you just kind of understanding your market and kind of knowing like what solutions they're looking for 
And that's what you base your keywords on in terms of doing this type of research. There's probably a pretty strong correlation with the Google Analytic keyword, though, I would imagine, right? right? Yeah, it's still it just, is. It's still yeah. behavioral, right? right? Yep, 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 yep. This episode is sponsored by Marine D3. If you want 24-hour antioxidant protection while giving your brain, eyes, heart, and overall energy a jolt of long-lasting nourishment, then Marine D3 is for you. This is my number one top-selling health product that I've sold over 500,000 bottles, and right now, 80% of our sales come from repeat customers. Marine D3 can flood your cells with an abundance of new antioxidants and nutrients that fights and repairs damage done to the cells during exercise, everyday living, and the natural breakdown that occurs as we age. After 15 years of research and over $39 million spent on clinical studies, a renowned biochemist has found one of the world's greatest antioxidants. It's called CNLP, hiding deep below the ocean surface. I took CNLP, combined it with a little-known omega-3 called calam calamarine, as well as vitamin D3, so that you can get maximum benefit all in one supplement. I'd like to give you the first bottle absolutely free. I just ask that you pay shipping and handling. At edokeefshow.com forward slash free bottle, I'll have a mini presentation that will share more about the supplement and why people are raving about it. Most importantly, it'll show you exactly how you can get it shipped out to you today just for shipping and handling. This episode is brought to you by Dormant Forces Insider. If you would like monthly big business breakthroughs, insider marketing strategies that actually work, and mindset secrets of multimillionaires sent directly to your door so you can have them in your hands and you can apply them, then this is for you. Now, you can test drive my Dormant Forces Insider Silver Membership for just one month free. If you love it, we know you'll stay with it and let it keep you in the loop of what's working inside my businesses and the other dozens and dozens of businesses that I mentor. Why would you go at it all on your own when you can use other people's experience than just replicate what works? Anyhow, right now you can test drive the membership for just $1 plus a few bucks shipping and handling by going to edokeefshow.com forward slash dormant forces. That's edokeefshow.com forward slash dormant forces. And thank you so much for tuning into this episode of the podcast. You can find the show notes for this episode as well as all the other podcast episodes by heading on over to edokeefshow.com. If you would, please go subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and leave a rating and review. Rating and reviews truly are the best way for you to show your appreciation for the show because they help more people find out about the podcast and decide if this is the one for them. So until next week, it's time for you to go out there, take action, and inspire the world.